Yo, it's Ricky Tice. What's good? What's good? I know it's dark out. Prepping for the snow. That's going to hit New York and New Jersey. I had to go out and get goodies and shit. You know, I was up in Walmart. Seeing this three TSA single black mothers. Walking up in Walmart like they're the shit. They like jackets all open. Showing off their badge, but no protection. I went up to one of them. I said, like, you know, I don't know why you're wearing your, your badge out for. You need to cover that up. And one of them looked at me like, who are you? You can't be telling me what to do. I work for the government. I said, damn, that's how the government acts? Um, look, if you can't see me, I'm up the, I'm up in my sister's car. Damn, where that light came from? I'm up in my sister's car. I'm driving her, uh, her Mercedes. I don't feel like taking out my BMW. I don't feel like driving it today. Let me turn off this light again. So, the chick was catching an at she got an attitude. I'm like, yo, I'm just telling you the truth. Like, you know, you need to cover up. It's not like you got some big ass titties and shit. I'm just telling you, if you're gonna come out in a uniform like this, at least cover up, especially at night. And the chick was asking me, "What do you do? Who are you?" I said, "I'm a government employee as well, and I'm also in law enforcement." And the chick was like, "Oh, please, you probably work for you work you probably work for for TSA as well." I like you don't know who I work for, but uh, but thank you for your badge. I say like, but thank you for your show number, though. I said I'll just send it up to my higher ups and stuff, and um, they'll handle it from there. And he's like, "Who are you?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm in the army." I said, "Hey, I'm in the military police." She's like, "Really?" And you looking like this, you looking like a bum and shit, like. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the military police and I work for the city. I said, look, I work for the city and state. My pay grade is way higher than yours. I said, my rules and boundaries is a whole lot different from you because y'all just check tickets and search people's shit and grabbing their nuts and titties, telling them what they can't have or bring on board and stuff. Well, for me, I can go through the checkpoint with no problem without getting searched. And I told him straight up, like, look, if you ain't got, if you ain't got no vest on, or if you're not packing, you shouldn't be fucking wearing that shit anyway. But they fucking acting like they're the shit in the fucking airports, but they got fucking attitudes. Single moms, man, I don't get it, man. Y'all, end up, y'all as soon as y'all get a government job. And you're living in the hood, you are this shit now because you got a government job. But my benefits are way better than yours. Gov- they just don't know how to act. I'm like, I got a government job, but you, you, you look like you don't make. You know, you look like a bum coming up talking to me like that. I was like, I can look like a bum all I want. I'll tell you one thing though, I got my best on. I have my handcuffs in my back pocket. I have my shield and ID on me. I have my military ID on me. I have my. And as soon as I whipped that shit out, Shorty looked at me as like, "Oh, okay. So what do you do?" I said, "Don't worry about it. You see my government ID. I see yours. That's cool. We both straight." So I went about my business. Them chicks following me around the store and stuff. Try one of them try to holler at me, trying to talk, to, get me to talk to her and stuff. I said, "Look, I fucking rub it in your face." I said, "Look, I only make a hundred and five thousand a year. I'm single. I live by myself. I own my house. I own a cup, and I own a piece of land, and um, I just work." My kids are grown. 
got two grown daughters. Son, I'm doing me. I'm doing good. Not even married. I'm not even looking for a girlfriend right now. So they're like, oh yeah, you know, you know, I've been looking for a man because you know you're straight, you got your shit together, and you know, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like that, you know. I was like, oh, so you used to meeting guys that ain't got their shit together, but you still holler at them. Well, you meet a guy who has their shit together making way more than you, and you got a government job and shit. You just catch his attitude. See? When these chicks get these fucking high, well, these high profile jobs that don't pay that much, they're this shit. But they gotta work to stay on their little fucking benefit program. Especially in the post office. Oh my gosh. Because my sister works in the post office and she'd be telling me stories of how, like, these new chicks that come on in and stuff, and the guys trying to help them out, they got it fucking, they got attitudes and shit, like, they like you know, like I don't want to be bothered type shit. It's fucking crazy, especially like when they working at McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, Pizza Hut, all them fast food joints. They're like they act like they're the shit. Cause the only thing is y'all single ass mothers there are are fucking working to keep your fucking benefits. That's how it is. Y'all able body. You got like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kids, and your ass is, your pussy is like fucking shriveled up, stretched out, titties sagging, and you think you're the shit because you you working at a job, you're making fifteen dollars an hour, yay, yeah, I'm making money now. No, you're not. Shit, you making fifteen dollars an hour, and I'm making forty, and you still choosing Pookie and Ray Ray. And shit over the good dudes, and, and you having their babies. I don't know what to say. I can't. I don't know what to do with you. But anyways, yo, like, share, subscribe. You wanna get? In, you wanna hit me up? Get in touch with me. Hit me up on Facebook, Ricky Tice, R I C K Y T Y S. Hit me up on the messenger. Peace.